Day four. Today we will learn that there are different methods of writing to convince others. So that means you guys don't have to just write a story to convince others. There's different ways for you guys to actually convince people with your writing. Writers can make a sign, letter, song, list, or petition. That means you guys can make a sign, like a picture of a sign to convince others. You can write, you guys can also write a letter, write a song even, or make a list or a petition to get people to agree with what you're saying. Last time I wrote this, remember? I think the hallways could be better because sometimes people run. Kids should stop running or else someone might fall down. They might get their, they might hit their head and get bruises. Remember earlier, earlier, all I wrote was like, don't run, and now I'm providing reasons, but there's different ways for me to do this. I don't just have to do it in a story format like this. I can actually use one of these five different ways to convince others. I can make a sign, a letter, a song, a list, or a petition. So with this writing, maybe this is a school-wide issue. So because it's school-wide, I can probably write a letter to the principal this time, right? I can write a letter, or I can even make a sign for the rest of the kids. But maybe I can write a letter for the principal, so maybe the principal can do something about it and help us do something about it, too. Actually, I don't like that. Let's do it again. Day four. Today, we will learn that there are different methods of writing to convince others. That means you guys have a bunch of different ways that you guys can use in your writing to convince others. You don't have to just write it in a story. So these are the five ways that you guys can use to convince others. So writers can make a sign. So you can make a sign and showing people what they need to do or why they should do it. You can write a letter directly to that person. You can write a song, a list, and a petition. Last time I wrote this, remember? I think the hallways could be better because sometimes people run. Kids should stop running or else someone might fall down. They might hit their head and get bruises. So that's what I wrote, and I wrote it in a story format. So because this is a whole school-wide issue, like this is something that I'm seeing a lot of kids are doing throughout the whole school. Maybe what I can do is write a letter to the principal explaining this problem. Or what I could also do is maybe make a sign and put it around school to let kids know that they should be using walking feet. These are some of the options that I can do to convince others. So now for your writing, you can choose any of these writing methods. So think about the things that you guys want to fix. So can you, instead of writing just a writing, can you make it a sign? Can you do a letter? Can you write a song? Can you make a list? And can you do a petition? So you guys have a choice as a writer to choose any of these five methods to convince others. Now, if you have a printer and you wish to print these writing paper out, you can do so in the next few slides. But remember, you don't have to do it. If you have a regular writing paper, just use a regular writing paper. But make sure at the top you write the date, you write dear. Dear means who you're writing it to. So you're saying to someone. So dear whoever you're writing it to. And at the end, you guys can write sincerely and put your name. So we know that you're writing it. It's from you. It's your writing. So this is a writing a letter format. So if you have a printer, you can print this out. 